All right, guys, so we're doing some fun stuff today. I have a little bit more than I had last week for Monday mashup. So in this, I kind of do like my subscription box unboxings. They're not really unboxings because I'll be honest, a lot of the boxes now send me stuff and I get them ahead of time so I can try them out and review them um, and actually give you guys like, oh, I like this product or oh, this one sucked. <laughs> I mean, uh, anyways, so they're not like traditional unboxings. Another thing is, is I don't keep the boxes really anymore because I try and just do all my unpacking outside and bring everything in from there. So a couple boxes I didn't do that with and I just let them sit out in the sun for three days. So yeah, I'm, I'm that person. But uh, yeah, so I have a haul, I have some PR, and then I have some a subscription box. I have Beauty Heroes. And yeah, let's just roll in and get started. I know that intro is probably a little bit off, but I'm kind of in a really good mood today. Oddly enough, we're on week eight of quarantine officially. And I don't know, I, I guess I've just entered the euphoric acceptance stage. So that's where I'm at. So yeah, let's just start. Uh, let's start with my, let's start with Beauty Heroes actually. Okay, so I'd like to talk about last month just to give you guys an update. So last month we got the two-in-one resurfacing exfoliant from Mukti. And then we also got Mukti's Hyaluronic Marine Serum. So I have not opened up the Marine Serum. I have like five serums out and going. I do chip away at my skincare and I do use it all up, but I'm just trying to use up at least two before I open anything else up. So yeah, that's just kind of where I am with that product. Uh, but I have opened up their exfoliant that we got as the sidekick product and I love this. So this is their two-in-one uh, resurfacing exfoliant. For all skin types, I would say I don't think this is really for all skin types. If you have really sensitive skin, this has some AHAs in it. I would say the exfoliant is pretty aggressive. That does I don't love that word. It just works really well. I don't know. I don't. That's not the right way to even put it. It's just not for someone with sensitive skin. So I would say maybe the all skin types is a little misleading, but all skin types but sensitive, pretty accurate. I love the smell of this. It's a beautiful shade of green. So they use a lot of different limes in this. They use finger lime, caviar, desert lime, and rainforest lime to create their AHAs. And then they use um, refined bamboo as the physical exfoliant. So this kind of has two exfoliating parts. So the AHAs from the fruit and then the physical exfoliant. So I like this. I don't use this daily. I use this like maybe weekly. That's the thing about it is even for me, I do exfoliate. I love exfoliating, but I try and do it very seldomly, especially when I'm using something that has the physical and the chemical components to it because I just don't want to aggravate my skin too much. I don't have sensitive skin, but that could easily change if I'm using too much on it. So I have like this, this is again a product I only use maybe twice a week at most, but once a week for sure. So again, I really like the Hero so far. And then this month, this month I like more than last month actually, but I really liked last month. So this month, I actually met the founder of this company. It's called Bathing Culture. Whenever beauty heroes have their store opening event, Aloha Jen's beauty blog, her name's just Jen. <laughs> but we went to uh, Novato together and went to the beauty heroes store. So I've been back to the beauty heroes store once. I, it's a beautiful store. I can't wait until I can finally go back to all my green beauty store and just have a little love fest because I love like just going and trying stuff out and playing with it like that's my favorite I don't know it, I just miss I was telling my dad like yes we have access to everything we did before where it's like I'm not missing out on anything where I'm still wearing clothes I you know I still have my skincare I still have the foods I want but I just miss going and like playing I know that sounds so weird as an adult but I miss that and that's why I love beauty stores so much. Like I love going and smelling, trying the textures. I could stay for hours. So, so excited. But anyways, I met the founder of this brand at that event and he was a really cool guy. Um, so the brand's called Bathing Culture. And this month I have tried all the products. We got three products. So we got, this one is their refillable mind and body wash. 
And then we got their Outer Being Face and Body Oil. And then we also got their Golden Hour Hydrosol. Just based off a of price point, I think this is the Hero product. This is the, let me see, do they even say? Actually the Mind and Body Wash is the Hero product, but this one is just more expensive. So I guess we'll start off talking about the body wash. So we get a really hefty size amount. I have used this for like five or six showers and I just use one pump. I use um, a natural loofah. So they're like sea cucumbers or something. It's, it's, what is it? It's actually not a sea, it's like a plant. And then, yeah, that's what I use as a loofah. I just use one pump. This does suds up pretty nicely. It doesn't have SLS or anything like that really clean ingredient. The scent of this is very interesting. It's very unisex. So they say that it's a woodsy blend of balsam, vetiver, yang lang. I always get that mixed up. Lang lang. I think that's how you're supposed to say it. Ho wood and frankincense. It's definitely a lot more of a woodsy, earthy type scent. I would maybe compare it, yeah, I don't have anything to compare it to. I would just say it's super unisex. I mean, my husband, I haven't let him use this. I'm not gonna let him use this. I'm not gonna tell him to use this because I really like this, but he could use this and it wouldn't be like super florally or feminine. So one thing that's really cool about this is this brand has refillable stations. They have one at Beauty Heroes. And then I believe I was reading that now across California, the founder has partnerships with like 100 different stores. So you can bring in these bottles and refill them. So for me, that's a really fortunate thing because I live kind of in the region. I still live kind of far. I live like an hour and a half. But when I venture up that way, I can stop and refill this. So I will do that. I have really liked the body wash in itself. It is made with aloe vera olive oil, sunflower oil, plant glycerin, spoonified coconut oil, and shea butter. It just, yeah, it's really nourishing, soft, and a really nice body wash. I have enjoyed it, and I would refill it when I'm done. But we also got just such a hefty size bottle. That'll be a while. This is 16 fluent ounces, and it's all glass. I keep doing this and not saying that. And then one of my, I really love body oil, so I'll say one of my faves interesting people out walking. Anyways, I have a window right here. So it's really funny because I always have the window open to get that natural light. And sometimes people will walk by and like look in at me because what I do looks kind of weird, right? But anyways, so this is the Outer Being Face and Body Oil. It's in Cathedral Grove. I don't know if that's like a, the, just the scent name, I'm guessing. But this is made with Abyssinian oil, coconut MCT oil, jojoba seed oil, marula seed oil, raspberry seed oil, and sea buckthorn. And then the scent of this is kind of that, it's very similar. It's a very woodsy, multi, multi-sex, unisex, like anyone can use this. Um, it has grapefruit, raspberry seed oil, cedar, vetiver, whole wood, and then other essential oils. So yeah, I really have liked this. So what's kind of cool about this brand is you're supposed to be able to use these on like all of your body. Like you can use this oil on your face. I just haven't because if you watch my Insta stories, you know that I do like a bougie skincare routine all the time. So I just get a little more like into my skincare. But if you're a super basic person, I feel like this box was perfect for you because you get your body wash, which you could also use on your face if you wanted to. Don't quote me on that or anything. Just if you wanted to, you could. And then we have another product I'll talk about in a sec that you can use and then this oil. So I've just been using this as a body oil. I really liked it. I love a body oil because it absorbs so nicely into my skin and I feel like it's a lot quicker for me to use a body oil than to use a body cream or lotion. I just like something that absorbs really fast. I have tried especially two body lotions I can think of. The Prox, Prooxy one I tried and then also the Free and True one I tried were really nice and thin and I like those. But my heart kind of lies with the oils because they were the first thing I ever started using. I used to use Johnson & Johnson baby oil when I was like in high school because it just was such an easy fast step. I wouldn't recommend that now but there's a lot more like adult type oils that are clean and a lot better for you so. This one's really nice and I have liked it. You'll see that one in an empties for sure because yeah. I'm not sure if this has a refill. I hope so because I really, I love a good oil. And then 
who has watched me for a while and knows that I like Neroli. I love the scents of Neroli and Jasmine. They're my favorites. And we got this Golden Hour Hydrosol. It's Neroli and Rose. This is made with hand harvested Moroccan Neroli flower, Moroccan rose oil, Turkish rose oil, and Bulgarian rose oil. And then it also has um, distilled water. So I'll just spray this on my face right now. I've used this a little bit just as a toner. It smells beautiful. Just that scent alone, oh, I love it. If you don't like Neroli, you might not like this product, but I have liked it. And it's a really just simple hydrosol. I mean, it's nice for spraying on after your shower or bath. The thing that's really cool, again, about this box in general is you get the cleanser, you get the hydrosol, they're all glass packaging, and then you get the oil. So for someone who's just super basic and what they like to use, this is like an all-in-one kind of body and skincare box. So I think the brand's really cool. I think the products are top-notch, and I was really excited with this and happy with this month's box for sure. And just side note, I was happy to also see something aside from skincare because... I have so much right now, and it was nice to get a bunch of body care. Um, yes, we got the Hydrosol, which is more of a skincare product, but it was nice to get like a body and a bath oil that I maybe wouldn't have purchased normally. Now that I've tried them, I again, I would save the bottles for refills and repurchase. Okay, and then I did a little haul in myself. Um, there were some Earth Day sales, and whenever I tell you guys about Earth Day sales, Reagan, this girl tends to buy things for herself, so that's what I did. So I bought a couple of things. I bought two things from Eco Brow. I'm trying out, if you haven't noticed a theme, because last Monday Mash Up I tried the Plume Brow Pencil, but I also have decided to try out a bunch of brow products, so I ordered some because there were some good sales. So I did get the Eco Brow Defining Gel and Clear, and then I also got their um, Defining Crown in Maryland. So maybe I'll keep the clear gel out and use it, but I got these because A, I emptied out my Jane Iredale brow gel and then I have my Dr. Hauschka one. I don't love that one. That one might get emptied out too, but I think I might save the packaging of both of those and do like a total overview of clear brow gels because I love a good clear brow gel. I stopped waxing my brows like a year or two ago and I honestly haven't linked back. I will say I still use like a micro blade in between here and like to kind of shape up a little bit, but I'm not waxing my brows and life's never been better. But I really do like to have a clear brow gel because of that. It just sets everything in place and it's nice. So I got these two from Alia Beauty, by the way, because I think they did like 15 or 20% off for Earth Day. And then I did a Credo order that I kind of forgot. Well, I have a vague idea of what I got. Now I remember. Now I remember. Oh, I forgot I got this. That's a thing. So I did also get the Aire Perez. This is their clear brow gel. One of you guys recommended this to me, so I'm going to give it a try. Again, I just kind of want to try a bunch of clear brow gels because there have been ones that I've liked and ones I haven't, and I'll share with you when I've used these up, not even use them up, just when I've used them, just my thoughts, but I'm gonna give that a go. So that was a recommendation by you guys. And then I did get a refill of the Wise. This is their mascara. This is not their original formulation. This is their volumizing formulation. So I got the refill because I actually have the packaging. I might not open this though, just so you guys know, for a little while because I have more mascara is going right now than I would like to admit or like to say I have going. So this might be a couple months until I actually open it, but Credo was, I think, Credo that weekend did like a sale of some sort. I think I got like $10 off or something. My order, yeah, that's what it was. I got like 10% or 15% off. So I did order that. And then I got the Josh Roseberg. This is their cacao antioxidant mask. I love, love, love this mask. I've tried samples of it and I finally, I'm almost out of my Live Botanical mask. I love to have masks that are pre-mixed. I think we went through like a hot moment of having all of these um, powder masks where you add water and yogurt and honey and things to your own mask. 
I like those, don't get me wrong, I still do, but I actually just love to have something that's already mixed up and I can just apply to my face. Because a lot of times at night, I'm lazy. I don't want to do a ton of alchemy. It can be fun, you know, it can be fun. Um, and there are some good powder formulations out there. Um, some pre-made powders that are great. So I feel all ways about, I guess, these masks. I was just really happy and I decided to purchase this mask. I also love the Maylandstrom Honey Mud. That will be re-releasing sometime this summer. Reagan will be the first one on the list to repurchase it because I love that stuff. Um, but yeah, this is another favorite of mine, the Cacao by Josh. I think it's just a really, really nice mask. It's kind of like a chocolate whipped mask. That's how I would describe it. It doesn't dry down to a total clay formulation. Let's just read about the ingredients because I've just tried samples. So it has marshmallow root extract. It doesn't really have heavy clays in it or anything. So yeah, I don't know. The skin just loves it. I love it. It's a nice experience. So I purchased it for myself. And then I got a bunch of samples, but I wanted to share the ones I picked because I got to pick them. Okay, so I got the Suzanne Kaufman. This is their glow mask. And this was like a deluxe sample that I selected because I have some points with Credo. So I decided to just give this a go. Um, we'll see what it's like. I yeah, I just picked that one because it was kind of a bigger size. And then I got the Suntegrity. This is just another one of their primers. I've gone back and forth with this sunscreen because there are some that I like a little bit more now. I do like the Blissoma Photonic or Photonic, however you say that. And then I really like the Fit Glow SPF. I think it's a really good one too. This one is a little bit thicker and leaves my skin a little bit oilier and has a little bit more of a white cast now. I think they reformulated it when they repackaged. I'm not 100% on that, but I don't hate the product by any means. And I still have a couple of tubes of it and I'll probably, I, I won't even probably, I will reuse it this summer. But yeah, I did just select that as one of my trial sizes and then I got this Bloom Effects Royal Tulip Nectar. It's a moisturizing nectar. I might just put this in my giveaway box because I just picked things because it's part of how Credo ships stuff. And then I got the Indie Lee Eye Wake and Eye Serum. I love this stuff and this is a little sample of it but I think this will go pretty far. So I will use this. I'm happy about that one. So all in all, good haul, good haul. Um, lots of brow and lash products and some skincare. So I have been wondering where this package was for a very long time. So I ordered some Westman Atelier cosmetics from Coast Bar. Um, I actually wouldn't recommend maybe ordering from them because I didn't have the absolute best experience with this store so they do carry basically only two clean brands anyway maybe three i think they carry tata harper but tata harper um kiara wise and westman atelier well the thing was i ordered this from them and it just didn't show up at my house and then finally today i ordered this like three weeks ago i mean it it had been a while and this is based in california and i'm in california that's all beside the point. But what happened was I emailed them just, you know, about a week ago, just asking like, hey, I ordered these things. Um, I don't know where they are. I never got, I got like a order number, but I never got a shipping notification. So I just never knew when this stuff was coming. And I haven't received an email yet from Coast Bar telling me anything. But my neighbor actually ended up getting the package. They dropped it by our house. I'm really glad they did that because I spent a lot on these cosmetics. So yeah, um, this just happened just now and I'm already done filming. It's Friday. I took my hair out of the braids. I took my fake nails off. So here we are. We're just going to unbox these things and talk about them. So this is nothing against Westman Atelier. Uh, I've always had really good experiences with their customer service and that's why I kind of, I like to order things because I like to share my customer service experience with you guys. And I've had such good experience at like Alia Beauty, Credo Beauty, um, the detox market, whenever I've ordered things. And with this, I just got no response. And you know, again, when you're spending quite a bit of money on cosmetics, it's kind of, yeah, I'm not a Karen by any means. I, I wasn't mean or something. I just said like, hey, I haven't seen my products. I was just wondering, you know, if their shipping information never got anything. So I know times are crappy and maybe, you know, everything's backed up, but it was just kind of weird to me. So yeah, and 
thought it was just my experience. But they did send three samples along with their stuff. We got a Guerlain product. Um, yeah, I'm just going to give those to the women's shelter. And let's open up the things I ordered. I'm really happy I got this stuff, I should say that. So I decided to do this order from Westman Atelier because I just bit the bullet and went for it. Uh, yeah, I really have wanted to try kind of their whole range and I've purchased their lipsticks in the past. I purchased their mascara. I wasn't a huge fan of their mascara. I did kind of like their little lipstick palette. I just thought it was different for like a luxury product, right? So did like that, but I kind of wanted to see their face products because I've heard so many people rave about them and conventional YouTubers, clean beauty YouTubers, etc. So I just wanted to try them. So I did order, actually I'm kind of interested because it seems smaller than I thought it was going to be. So I ordered some things. I'll open them. So I know I seem frazzled right now because I am. I wasn't planning on filming and I'm just really surprised that uh, I got this stuff and I wanted to include it in this video because it's, a, you know, Monday mashup first impressions. Okay, so I did get a little mini sample again of their mascara, which I'm happy to get. It came in this envelope and just, again, little sample. I'm happy to have gotten this because my one that I have is probably gone bad and I want to do a full face with Westman Atelier. So it's nice I at least have a little sample because I didn't want to repurchase a full size one. Um, okay, and then this is the size that I thought these products would be. So this is the foundation and then this is the blush. So they are a little bit different. Oh, wow. Okay, that is really beautiful. So I'll do kind of a more official first impression of actually putting on the makeup, but just packaging wise, they have some really pretty stuff. So that was the foundation. And then I did get the, this is their lit highlight. I'm interested in trying this because it looks like it's just going to be clear and glossy, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I did get this one. It's really beautiful. The packaging, I will say, she did an amazing job on the packaging. This is the blush. I got this in petal. That seemed kind of like the classic shade for the line is the petal shade. So we'll see how I like it. Okay, and then I have, I got this bronzer. One of the things, of, it's similar to the lip palette where I feel like it's kind of hard to, yeah, to open. And the pan's a little smaller, just first packaging impression than I thought it was going to be. But we'll give that a go. We'll see how it works. It's really hefty, heavy packaging. So yeah, again, we'll see how it works. I just, you know, don't know. So I got four products. I spent a pretty penny on them and I just have wanted to try them out. I ordered them from this coast because I want to see what it was like. Again, I would recommend ordering either from Westman Atelier directly or from Credo because they now carry them. Just, I had a weird customer service experience where I can't say my standards are like off the hook. It's just, yeah, I do expect to get a shipping notification. So, and I did not. Um, and I checked all my emails. By the way, we did get these, this is kind of odd. Um, we got the little baggies that you store the products in, in these separate plastic baggies. I'll say, having ordered from Westman Atelier themselves and then having ordered from Coast Bar, I kind of think that like the box, and I'm saying this matters. When you're spending like $300 on a few things, you expect it to all be really great. The unboxing experience of all this wasn't that amazing, just truly, again, compared to when I've ordered directly from Westman Atelier. So yeah, uh, it just is a little fancier. Um, I'm not trying to, again, really complain. I'm, it just, it's a different brand experience. Even ordering from Credo is a little different and stuff. So I was just kind of expecting a little more because Coast, again, they only carry like luxury products of all kinds. And then it's weird that all these were sent separately and they're not included in the packaging. I don't know if that's typical because I've never ordered these specific products from anywhere. So yeah, just first impression wise, I think the packaging is beautiful. Wouldn't order probably from this Coast bar again. I would, um, 
we'll see. We'll see how I feel about Westman Outlay's stuff. I truly just bit the bullet because I've been watching so many reviews and I'm like, I want to try it for myself. So yeah. And then lastly, I'm really excited because Indy Lee, the I don't know if it was like Indy Lee the person or just the brand reached out to me on Instagram and asked me if I'd like to try some things. And so I said, yeah, you know, of course, when opportunity comes knocking. Um, and I really have liked their products. Like I love that Eye Wake and Eye Storm. It's a great one. I did a masterclass yesterday with Aaliyah Beauty and it was on Zoom and stuff and Indie Lee was the brand that was featured. And the brand's really awesome. I really have a lot of respect for her and think she's a really cool lady and how she kind of started her brand. She started it because she had brain cancer and I kind of knew a little bit about her story but it was interesting to kind of hear her background and how she came up with this brand and yeah. So let's just open up what they sent. Thank you to them. Um, this is just me opening it. May I'll open stuff and smell it, but kind of just first impressions and PR haul, I guess. So this is the Indie Lee. This is the Meditation Facial Mist. One thing I've actually been surprisingly, I'm just gonna say, they have this like body balm. It's like the I Recover Body Balm. I'm getting that for my mom for Mother's Day. Um, I was really impressed with that. So I've been kind of impressed with their body products too. So the meditation face mist let me open it up so i'm just going to use this this is their newer line that's when they asked me what i wanted i was like well you know i want to try their newer stuff just i love stuff like this oh my gosh that's amazing so the scent of this let me see i'm guessing i smell some lavender in there and i smell a little bit of citrus so let's see if i'm correct grapefruit bergamot yes rosewood was yes lavender so this is a sense of calm and overall well-being with this restorative aromatic essence then it just lists out all the ingredients so what i'm excited for this is yes it's a face mist and it's meditation what i'm going to use this for is if you've seen any of my little insta stories or any of my little facial routines i use a lot of essential oils just for smell like that's straight up it. And even at night, I've been using the Ranavat, their Jasmine Tonique. I don't actually use that as a toner because it's a little bit too intensive for my face. I just spray it around my body and do some inhales and exhales. And it helps kind of just center me. And you know, I have anxiety and I have depression and I've talked about my mental health a little bit. Those scents really help center me. This will be one, I'm almost out of that Ranavat product. Once I'm out of that, I'm going to just start using this at night because that smells really nice and it seems like it'll be one. And then they sent their energizing body wash. So let's give this a go. A slow whiff. This one also has grapefruit, bergamot, orange essential oils in it. That smells really nice. Very uplifting. And they call this their uplift and invigorate energizing body wash. So that smells really good. I've been getting a lot more into kind of like bougie or fancy body care lately. I've just been doing all the self-care the past couple months. I'm sure a lot of people understand why. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. It is 6.0 fluent ounces. And then, lastly for the body, their packaging is so nice. Like that's something um that she talked about was at the time she started developing the brand was this pretty packaging and i remember this time vaguely like 2008 ish if you went to like a natural store and were trying to find like natural body products it didn't look like nice and clean and crisp like this i mean that just wasn't the case i know that a lot of you guys kind of remember that time you know what i'm talking about like it was going into some natural grocery store and it just was so different but anyways this is their de-stress body oil calm and rebalance so i'm guessing there is some let me see the ingredients some lavender in this yes so i will just open this and smell it too oh that's a really nice blend that wasn't what i was expecting it to be i'll just read the blend off to you guys so it does have patchouli in it lavender eucalyptus jojoba rosemary grapeseed 
And then she said, she told us this, that um, they do say they have fragrance in this, but it's naturally derived. She was saying that on their website, they do have, or they're at least going to have what that means. It is truly naturally derived. It's something about the regulation or something has changed with how you have to describe fragrance. And now it's just different. It is still natural and they are very transparent about their stuff, so. Yeah, well, I'm excited about that stuff. And then there's one more skincare thing. Okay, and then this is their Iwaken Resurfacing Mask. So this is a new product from them. I'm really excited about this product specifically because I loved their Iwaken Eye Serum. True fave, love, love that. It's one of my favorite eye serums when people ask me like, you know, Reagan, what do you recommend? That's one of my first go-tos. So I'm interested in this. It looks like it's a more clay-based mask. It has, again, I'm just gonna read the ingredients. I didn't super get into, you know, researching all of this thoroughly. This has kaolin in it, it has shea butter, it has jasmine, tangerine. So it also has banana pulp extract. So it's supposed to leave you with a glow. You're only supposed to leave this on for five minutes. All right, so I think what I might do I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you'd like to see like a routine using all of this that's a little bougier, you know what I mean? Like where I like do a spa-like night for myself and you know, walk through the products I'm using and stuff. Or if you just want a straight up review, I'll do both. I don't really, you know, I'll still do the spa night. I just won't record it. So just let me know. Also, it's really cool. They're I want to have a brand that just has my, like, the tissue paper has my name on it. That's cute. I love that. So, yeah, uh, super sustainable packaging. There was no plastic in this at all that they sent. Um, with the Credo and the Beauty Heroes as well and the Alia. So, awesome job by all these clean beauty brands and retailers. Alrighty, y'all. So, let me know your thoughts on these products. Let me know if you got the Beauty Heroes box. Let me know. That question I asked you about the Indie Lead, let me know what you want. If you want more of a spa night together or just a review of the products. And then also, yeah, thanks for recommending some products to me. I did end up purchasing them. I'm excited to try out those brow products and the Josh mask. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.